one. In this video, I will talk about Apex Trigger. So today's scenario is whenever a new account is created, the system will automatically create a corresponding contact with the same last name, phone number, and association to the account. The trigger is defined with the name Create Contact on Account Insert and is associated with the account object. It specifies that the trigger should execute after an insert operation after inserts on the account object. Inside the trigger, a list called new contacts is declared to store the new contact records that will be created. The trigger iterates over the trigger new list, which contains the account records that were just inserted. This loop allows us to process each inserted account record individually. For each account record act in the loop, a new contact object called new contact is created. The new contact last name is set to the name of the inserted account act name. Uh, this assumes that the account's name should also be the last name of the associated contact. The new contact phone is set to the phone number of the inserted account act phone. Uh, this assumes that the account's phone number should also be the phone number of the associated contact. The new contact account ID is set to the ID of the inserted account act ID. Uh, this ensures that the contact is associated with the correct account. The newly created contact record, new contact, is added to the list of new contacts. After processing all the inserted account records, the trigger checks if the new contacts list is not empty. New contacts is empty. If the new contacts list is not empty, it means there are newly created contact records. Uh, the trigger then performs an insert operation e insert new contacts to save these contact records in the database. That's it. Uh, this trigger listens for account insert events and automatically creates contact records based on the inserted account information. It populates the contact's last name, phone number, and links it to the associated account. Let's start by creating a new account record. Uh, set the name as subscribe to my YouTube channel and the phone number as size. Uh, click on the save button to create the account record. Uh, so account record is created. Uh, next, check if the contact record has been created. Uh, to do this, click on the related list. You will see that the related contact record has been successfully created. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.